What is up everybody? It's your boy Emmanuel with an I and today I'm gonna talk to you about 10 cheap first date ideas. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back subscribers and if this is your first time watching my channel, I really do appreciate y'all coming. If you're interested in motivational speaking, relationship advice, or you want to ask me a question, or you're interested in my creative vlogs, then you should definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And plus, if you do want to send me a question, send it to Emmanuel with an I at gmail.com. Again, Emmanuel with an I ooh, at gmail.com. And I will respond and make a video response. And hopefully, your question helps other people the same way I want to help you, homie. All right? So let's get into it. Now, ladies, I understand that you want a guy that is very chivalrous and he's a very good gentleman and you want him to take you out on that first date and be special and put you first and so on and so forth. So please understand. I do understand these things. You better not kill me after this whole video. Just just hear me out. Just hear me out. The first one on the list is taking her out on a classic picnic. For a picnic, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Just bring a blanket and bring a backpack to carry all the food in. You can make foods like sandwiches, bring chips. And if you really wanna make things just that much more special, you can have a jar, put like 10 notes in it that have random questions on it. So that way when you're at the picnic, you have a great conversation starter. Number two, going on a walk. Now this one is a gimme. Outside is free. <laughs> And there's a lot of beautiful places like parks and maybe lakes that you can go to and go on a walk and have a great conversation. Number three, going to see a movie. Nowadays, movie theaters think they can just charge us with the biggest amount of money just for all the snacks and the tickets. I mean, the tickets alone cost like $13 each if you catch the night movie. So catch the morning movie, the matinee. Usually this is cheaper, and plus, if you do actually want to buy snacks, then be cuter, be romantic by literally sharing the snacks that you buy. You don't have to buy separate snacks. Do it together. This saves money, and it's more romantic, and you can do the classic. You can do the classic lean to be really cute and really weird, like I'm weird. Number four, fast food place. There's this stigma that the first date has to be so special, similar to how like when you ask your lady to marry you, it has to be on that same exact level. No, my parents, I think they like went on dates at KFC. By the way, KFC chicken is fire, but that's not the point. The point I'm trying to get at is this. I guarantee you when you are actually official and going on dates with each other, you're going to go to fast food places to eat anyways. I don't understand why people think the first date has to be at this classic restaurant all the time. You barely know each other in the first place. So yeah, KFC or Burger King, Burger King's better. Number five, Starry Night. This one is another classic. You literally can go outside, bring a blanket, lay on your backs and just look at the stars and have really deep, meaningful conversations. I'm telling you, this is how you connect with each other that much more. Number six, staring at the clouds. This one's very similar to number five, but I had to throw this one in there because some people think you can't go out on a date during the day. What? Number seven, board games. Board games are so much fun and they are cheap and you can find out how competitive each person really is. And just for the record, I don't lose at any board games. And if you want to beat me in a board game, bring it. Number eight, going to the mall. Going to the mall does not mean you have to buy something. Going to the mall can just be a great way to make great conversation. And plus, people watching together is so much fun. I'm telling y'all, it is hilarious. The things that you see people do in the mall. Number nine, bike ride. Honestly, I don't see a lot of people go on bike rides nowadays. Now, maybe it's because they don't have bikes of their own, but if you don't have bikes of your own, then you literally can go rent a bike, both of you. It's really cheap. You can rent it for like an hour. Enjoy nature, people. Ride bikes together. Last. But not, ow. Ow. Let's try this again. Last. <laughs> but not least. Number 10. Going fishing together. I personally love fishing. I've caught a thousand pound fish before with my bare hands. I mean, it's it's been recorded somewhere. I'll just make sure y'all understand that. But go fishing together, man. It's really fun. You're literally sitting there and like you're talking. Guess what, people? Millennials. Millennials out there, talk to each other, okay? You can't do everything through Snapchat. You can't do everything through Skype. You can't do everything through texting. Talk to people. All of these 10 points 
Literally just go back to being honest and talking with each other. I know that you're scared to have conversation, but you gotta make it. Talk to each other, people. Talk to each other. I really broke down right there, didn't I? All right, on a more serious note, let me say this. Ladies, not every single guy is balling out. Some guys don't even have $30 to their name. I mean, during college, I remember I had $2 in the bank account. $2, all right? And I was dating my current girlfriend. Now, yes, at that time, like, and still today, <laughs> I wanted to take her out on special dates. I wanted to take her out and show her how much I appreciate her by, you know, doing classier dates or doing nicer dates and things like that. The cliche dates that every single lady feels like a guy has to do on those dates in the initial stages when they're dating. But I couldn't afford it. So I took more time and put more thought into it to show her that I appreciate her for who she is by taking her out on these more creative, more intuitive, thoughtful, caring, giving dates where you talk more, you have more conversation. Not this superficial idea that, oh, I, I got money, so I'm gonna throw it your way. No, I showed her that I cared about her because I took her out on these cute, fun, romantic dates that we still do to this day. All right, that's all I'm trying to say. And plus, for anyone that's dating, let's not set this high expectation for the guy that he can't even reach because sometimes you might miss out on a great opportunity on a gentleman just because you want him to wine and dine you on the first date. Take that into consideration. As I said earlier, it's your boy Emmanuel with an I, and I really hope that you enjoy my ideas of the top 10 cheap dates that you can go on that are still romantic, that are still fun, that are still awesome, that are still really cool, and that are innovative and creative and all those words and all those things. If you enjoy my content, then you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel. You can just hit that subscribe button. I mean, I got motivational speaking, relationship advice, I got Ask a Man With I, I got vlogging, I got everything you need, homie. I really love y'all and I really hope that all y'all go on some awesome dates. And just one more thing, to all the millennial guys out there, you better still be a gentleman because every single girl deserves a gentleman. And if you're not gonna be a gentleman, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to close the video before I go crazy here. So, as I always say, do you stay spikalicious and keep smiling?